I am Erudito. What is it they do not want you to see? A small gesture. Hardly enough. I can offer them a wage, but what good is money without freedom? One day, it will come. Or you will make it. I know it. And in the meantime, what? I should congratulate myself while every day they face abuse or worse? The Templars will never allow slaves to be free. They keep even the rich in bondage. Though most people would never suspect. Gérald, if my father hadn't freed my mother, I'd be in the same predicament. But he did. I still owe them better.
my troubles, my pain, my suffering. It all starts with you. Come on, man. Have some self-respect. What's the trouble now? My ship, gone. Money, gone. Wife, I never even had a wife. And this man, he says, Oh, Capitan, I am so poor. I am so generous. I lend him money. He buys a ship. He becomes rich. Now I go to him. I say, Oh, Capitan, I am so poor. And he refuses to pay me back. Quit your crying and clean yourself up. I'll take care of it. Oh, oh, thank you. But only if you sober up enough to make yourself useful. Oh, créature du diable! Stop right there! Oh. Ah. Anyway, stop, stop! What do you want? The ship you bought with the generosity of Capitan Dominguez? You won't be needing it anymore. I, uh... Ah, oh, very well. I have retrieved the man's ship. You may use it now. Oh, thank you, thank you! Now you are in my protection. You will repay this kindness by working for me. If that is my only option, I accept. I mean, I, it would be my great honor, my sweet and gentle Angel. Aveline, ma belle. Listen, I have a job for you. Are you interested? Tell me what it is first. Elise already warned me about your jobs. <laughs> it's that McCandle imposter, Baptiste. You ended his terror, but his men did not get the message. They are camped out all over the swamp. They threaten the people of saint danger and make smuggling a little... Uh... Dangerous? No! Annoying! I speed at danger. How can I help? I am mapping the locations of their camps, so we can outsmart them and take back what they looted. There is just one remaining area that is a little... Annoying? Exactly. Say no more. I will take care of it. I'll show you where to start. Excellent work. I don't suppose you would be interested in eliminating a few of the camps for me, if I gave you the full map. I would do it for the people of saint danger As you wish. Any treasure you find, we can share. Two-thirds for me, one-third for you. Oh, really? <laughs> Very well. 50-50, then. <laughs> oh, fine. You know I cannot resist you. Keep it all. Go on. Go!
Havlin, Agate warned me of your flight to Mexico. Do you intend to abandon your business and the slaves in New Orleans? What about your family? My father sends me to Cuba to find suppliers, with his blessing. And you're more than fit to run the business in my absence. I must follow our enemy. And when were you going to tell me? I couldn't risk you trying to stop me. Is this all you see in me? Business? Orders? Havlin, I care for you. Gerald, don't be angry. You know we cannot mix feelings with work. I had hoped to spare... Since I know I cannot stop you, is there any last assistance I can provide? I admit my plan to board this ship is clumsy. There's a compound nearby, where slaves are held. Slaves bound to Mexico. You can gain access to the ship by blending with them. I won't be able to take my weapons. Well, how will you defend yourself? Uh, right. Silly question. I'll hold them for you until your return. Thank you, Gerald. You're a true, true friend. Welcome, friends, to a new life of freedom, productivity, and peace. Here, you will find no shackles, no whips. You will build your own community, and by your labor, together, we will prosper! Evelyn, what a joy to see you here and share the bounty of our life with a new sister. But why have you come? Were you not free already? When I heard how wonderful the community is, I had to see for myself. Are the rumors true? Are you as happy as they say? Happier. Our homes are comfortable, food is good and plentiful. It's like Eden. Are you paid a good wage? We are allowed to live here and participate in the community, each of us helping in our own way. That's all the wage we need. So the community owns this land. Someday we might, once we earn out our contracts. They say the land is valuable, so it may take a long time. It will be worth it. And if you should wish to leave? It doesn't happen. No one would ever want that. No one has ever left. Shh! You shouldn't talk like that. No one here does. We're so full of happiness, we have no need of unpleasant thoughts, or of those who would stir them. It really is so wonderful to see you again. Good day. 
It always is. Eat, eat! There will be so much time for talking later. Can I offer you some of my premium ale, or perhaps some tobacco? Strictly on the quiet market. No, thank you. Oh, well, do you have any to sell then? Sorry. Please forget we ever spoke. Come, join the dancing. This is a day for celebration. Welcome. Thank you. And what is your skill? Cleaning? Sewing? Cooking, perhaps? Mmm... I prefer hunting. That's unusual. But you will find yourself in good company. Our dick sight leader is also a woman. If you can get along with her, you'll do well here. Of course, everyone does well here. Our strength is using your strength. Wonderful. There's no shortage of material here. Perhaps I can gather the tools to arm myself so I'm ready when the time comes. A little crude, but it's better than nothing.
course, you're correct. The company man is already displeased. If we had more people... More people? We've already exhausted the local labor supply. I brought workers from everywhere, as near as Cuba and as far as New Orleans. And in total secrecy, do you realize how complex and expensive that is? Be patient. Vasquez will soon be in place in New Orleans. He will succeed where Baptiste failed. Here is the man I was mentioning earlier. What should we do with him? Educate him on the error of his ways. You didn't really think we'd let you violate your contract and run off with a head full of secrets, did you? Thank you. Where on earth did you come from? More importantly, where will you go? To New Orleans? I can arrange for employment. Huh? For what? My people are the phone. I will go back to Africa. Your locket is very unusual. I've seen one before. I assumed it was one of a kind. It is one of a kind. My mother made it with her own hands. You must be mistaken. No. The woman who wore the locket was named Jeanne. She was one of the first workers to come here. I remember her fondly. But... that was my mother's name. Where is this woman? I must see her. I don't know. She lived in a private house at the south edge of the camp. You should go. De Ferrer will be looking for you. Will you be all right on your own? Yes. I will hide until the changing of the guard at sundown, and then make my escape again. This time, they won't catch me. Good luck! Others. I'd know it anywhere. These could be hers.
is the unedited version. They cannot be trusted. I am sorry I am late to our meeting, senor. I had to dispatch guards to hunt down another escapee. Third one this week, is it not? I am having him held for you. I know you like to deal with these matters personally. Always so considerate. I am rather in the mood for hanging. Have you given any further thought to my suggestion? Of doctoring the worker's aid? Haven't you had bad luck with poison before? Perhaps you're right. I don't want a repeat of the Macandal debacle. Archaeology is a fine, gentle work. I would prefer something that would not impair the worker's abilities. I suggest uh, another festival, a suckling pig. Tell them they are closer than ever to earning their land. Of course, you're correct. The company man is already displeased.
how wonderfully useful you are. You remove those who would supersede me in rank. You find pieces of the prophecy disc, saving me the effort. <laughs> if you weren't my enemy, I would take you for my friend. Our aims must not be so different for all the help you give me. in Madeline's protection for your own safety. You and my heart. What cruel destiny brings you now? And carrying the blade of the enemy? Don't tell me. I thought you were dead. Please understand. They would have killed me. Taken my heart. I never wanted to leave you. Is that it? Has Agate sent you here to kill me? Please tell me you do not hate me so much. I would not have left. Kill you? No, I, I, I came here on my own. Aveline, the disc can never fall into Agate's hands. If it did, everything I've been working to find and protect since leaving Nouvelle Orléans would be destroyed. How do you know him? And why are you so afraid? Long ago. No. I'm sorry, Aveline. I hope you can forgive me someday. Mama! <laughs> 